Short answer, yep. Longer answer, after this. Hello everybody! It's been a very long time. It's my first video of the new year, of the decade, all the usual greetings, salutations to you guys. So if you don't know why I haven't been uploading for the past like um, four months, three months, that means you aren't following me on Instagram and you've been missing out on all the Inktober fun. So yes, the absolute main reason why I haven't been around is because I've been giving all my time to my Inktober project, which is I agree, a project that is supposed to last for one month, one month of drawings according to 31 official Inktober prompts, except that I decided to make it a 31 page graphic novel story. So I knew it was going to take much longer than one month, I just didn't know it was going to almost take four months to finish, but I did it. It's done in all its glory and wonder and uh, if you aren't on it yet I suggest that you do because I'm very proud of it it was blood sweat and tears definitely a lot of tears on my end but it's it's all done I know it's not perfect but it's done and it's my first ever full um, story that is published well self-published but published nonetheless finished from A to Z. And you can actually read it in more than one way. You can read it for free on Instagram, obviously, where it's a horizontal read. I've adapted it for a also free read on Webtoon, so you can read it on your phone vertically scrolling. Uh, my patrons were able to read it in the full page format. And maybe you've read the Inktober story, aka Love Inc. Uh, and you want to support what I do, my work, or maybe knowing that the money does go into the Japan, the next Japan project, maybe you want to buy this book. And you can! I put together a full PDF, a digital PDF that you can get on my Etsy store for just six bucks. I'll say that again, for just six bucks. And uh, you get a digital version and you get some bonus pages that are not found anywhere. Else. So you might have clicked on this video and you're now thinking, where is the Japan talk? I'm getting to that. If you don't know me already, I'm Ikutree Len and I make YouTube videos, but I primarily identify as being an artist, an illustrator, a creator of many different things and graphic novels has been my background, it's what I studied in school. So bear with me Japan content lovers, but if you are watching my videos, you need to expect a little art here and there because that is what makes me who I am. So this is Love Inc, the story that I wrote. This is obviously a physical version that was so kindly gifted to me. Like the same day that I finished it, I received this beauty and it's exactly what I needed because I did not realize how much work I had accomplished until this landed in my hands. 31 pages of story that I made all by myself and uh, yeah I know I'm kind of like self-praising here but it was a long road and I almost gave up so many times and like I said I know it's not perfect but I finished it and I'm very happy and very proud so you can get so this is printed from the digital PDF obviously so this is what you get in your PDF, you get the 31 uh, pages, you get some bonus content that, um, yeah, I wrote a graphic novel. Love Ink. So read it for free on my Instagram. By the way, those 50 people who unfollowed me on Instagram while I was working on Inktober, how rude. It, how, how rude and shameful because it really hurt my artist pride. Don't do that. Maybe wait until I'm done and then go away. Not during. I was working hard, okay? So anyway, you can read it for free on my Instagram, on Webtoon, and on Patreon, obviously. And you can get the PDF version on my Etsy store. All the links are down below. And throughout the video, I'm going to be bugging you with a lot of uh, self-promotion. You'll see why, because now we can finally speak.
of Japaniku and travel and so on. A little bit of a life update, if you will. So, status check. Let's go. So as I mentioned, the short answer is yes, I will be going back to Japan this year, Japaniku 2.0 is confirmed, the date has been set, the clock has been started, <laughs> and uh, we, I'm, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to go back to Japan. That is the short answer, the more complicated answer is, yes, the countdown has begun, but I have reached just about 50% of my required budget. My It's my own personal requirement budget. So it's I always over budget, but I would still like to get as close to it as possible as to not get a repeat of Japaniku 1.5, which I loved. I love the experience. I love the lessons that I've learned during that trip, but I've learned them. I've learned the lessons of not having enough money to do all the activities I want, so I will not. I do not want to repeat those mistakes. So I'm over budgeting for this trip, but we have just about reached fifty percent. I'm not sure exactly because I've already had some expenses done for 2.0, but I think we're about fifty percent. I definitely hear the clock ticking in my head, but I'm very excited for it. I'm very nervous for it, and I am working my ass off. All I can say is it. 2.0 is happening in 2020 it's coming up ish but I still need to like I still need to work a lot and I still need to uh, self promote like crazy so here it goes you can skip this if you don't want to hear it but these are the ways you can help plan this trip because obviously yes I'm gonna be doing the trip I'm gonna be living the experiences and the adventure but I'm going to be taking you with me so in order to make that as exciting and awesome for you guys I could use all the help I can get like the, the places I go and the t amount of time I spend in each place that I visit will ultimately depend on how much I put together in the end so how can you help? well obviously you're watching my video and maybe you have your ad blocker off good on you that's a good step you can share that video that's another step if you go right now and check behind your couch maybe you have a bit of loose change and you want to spend it on a creator and support their art and their videos and their projects think of me because I have multiple stores that I have built especially for that purpose I have the Etsy store where you can find my Japaniku illustrated from the 1.5 series I have my love ink graphic novel that has just come out and available for download. I have some original art on that Etsy store and obviously I have my Teespring store where you can get all the apparel type merch. I really like that store because I can really create my own shirts and designs, the Ikutri designs, the Japanica designs. You got a whole bunch of things. Sadly, I've just put the holiday collection to rest. Thank goodness for that. That's behind us. But I update the store. I, I bring out some new things from time to time. So keep up to date with that. So those are the stores. Now you also have Patreon, which is more of an art related thing. I do have video previews and shout out at the end of videos, but my Patreon is mostly art related where you can have access to my sketchbook and some never seen before sketches, some art process videos, some brushes, etc. etc. With Patreon, you can start with one dollar. So pretty easy, pretty easy going. And then obviously you have the direct donation links like the PayPal thing and the coffee thing. I apologize guys, but as I've said before, for me, this is a massive, massive project. I've been working on it for a year now. As soon as I came back from Japan last year, I was on the next trip. So I've been working on this so hard and I want it to be perfect. So if you don't ask, you don't get. And I'm, I'm asking. Every little bit helps because it's coming and you guys are going to freak out when you hear what is planned. Let's answer some questions that you guys have sent me. That way I don't start repeating myself. Anything that's been left out in the questions, I can talk about a little bit later. So I asked you guys if you had any, any at all, not only Japan related questions, but any type of questions at all. I asked on multiple platforms and I'm rocking an iPhone 5, which is very, 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 very slow. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go. Okay, so Instagram first. I have two questions from Maj. Again, I give people nicknames if you didn't know. Are you planning on trying a new location or staying longer at another Japanese city? And will you be making another Japaniku comic this time as well? So yes, I do plan on trying as many new locations as I can, hence the massive budget that I set myself up with. Given the opportunity, I would visit as much as many places in Japan as I can. It's a country that has always fascinated me and that I want to discover and experience the fullest, to be honest. So as many locations as I can and the time that I stay in each location, I guess will, will vary, will depend of multiple different factors. And will I be making another Japanese comic this time as well? I hope so, because the Japanese comic doodles are based off uh, what I used to do, which were daily doodles or doodle diary doodles. <laughs> But I'm currently not really doing that. I need a break from it because I used to do them to just like free, to just really draw and not have to think about it. And I started thinking while I was drawing and I started putting pressure on those daily doodles. So now I'm stuck, artist block, with my daily doodles, which sucks because I used to love doing them. I want to start doing them again, but I don't know when my brain will let me. Short answer is I want to. I, it was fun to do, it was great, um, I intend to, but we'll see, we'll see what happens then, you never know what can happen. A friend of mine is asking where will you stay on the first night upon arrival, uh, well I am landing in Tokyo and I will be staying in Tokyo on my first night. F, F -themios, F -themios brew. When are you planning to travel? Um, in 2020, this year, that's as much as I can really reveal for now, again for my own comfort and security here on the internet, but also I want it to be a surprise for you guys, so 2020, um, soon-ish, take that however you will. Oh, another, another question from that same user, are you going to stay for days or a month? Uh, what can I reveal? I'm staying longer than I've ever stayed in Japan. So go back and check how many days I stayed the first time, which was my longer stay, and it'll be longer than that stay for sure. Big project, big, big project. Uh, rockets. Anywhere in Japan you'd love to visit but haven't been to yet. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But um, I guess my main places that I would really want to go and I haven't been to yet is obviously Hokkaido, Sapporo. Um, I would like to go to Okinawa, like opposite, like complete opposite places on the map. What else? I I know I skipped out on Yokohama last time because of lack of funds, card was rejected figure of speech. Uh, I didn't get to go to Yokohama so since then stayed in my head and obviously because I had the Odaiba meltdown I didn't really get to visit Odaiba. I just crossed the bridge and then went back. <laughs> so those are the places that stay in my head. Obviously there are a lot lot more I'll have to check in my in my travel diaries um, but yeah there, there are so many places I want to visit so badly. Those are just the ones that pop into my mind and I shut my phone off. <laughs> Michelle Clover is asking, how will your plans be different from the two first trips? Well, uh, first off, it will be longer. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to have like filming adventure days, but also rest days, maybe some me days where I just go and explore by myself without like the pressure of having to vlog, like not live everything through a camera. That's for me how it will change for you. It will change the fact that it's longer and that I'm planning to visit different places. And um, there are a lot of little things that will be different, but that I can't fully reveal yet. One, because I'm not, some of them are not really confirmed yet, and others, well, I want to surprise you with it. Um, I really do want to surprise you, so I can't give too much away. With the experience that I've gained from those two first trips, it will be an entirely different beast of a, of a trip. <laughs> Very excited. I hope I'm getting you excited for it too, because holy crap. <laughs> I did get one question on Twitter also. Let me find it again. Oh my god, 
the last one. Okay, the question on Twitter that I got is from Alec James and it's uh, what's been the hardest part of planning a solo travel and how on earth do you stay motivated to do drawings every day? <laughs> art question. Mm, mm, mm. You're awesome. I love it when you guys ask me art, art questions. Me and art, we have a weird relationship, a love-hate relationship, so I need a lot of approval when it comes to art. But first of all, what is the hardest part of planning solo travel? Uh, so planning, not traveling solo travel. Because the hardest part of traveling solo is actually in my opinion, being solo because sometimes it does get lonely especially if you don't have that affinity like that easy ability of making friends just friends uh, really <laughs> easily uh, sometimes you do want to share experiences with people and you don't have anyone that comes to mind or you don't have anyone with you and it, it does get a little bit sad the hardest part of planning solo travel is just knowing your limits I would suppose Knowing yourself, maybe uh, researching things as much as you can because you know that you get anxious, I don't know, like in trains or in certain areas and you need a plan B and you, you really need to plan for everything because you can only count on yourself. Well, in my opinion, and in my case, I felt like I could only count on myself. If something went wrong, it was on me and it was on me to fix it. So I guess that's one of the hardest part of planning a solo trip is that you do everything from A to Z and you, you'd be surprised at how much you do end up stepping up and taking responsibility and taking action and taking control of your own adventure and experience uh, even if it's something that you would never do back at home that was what it was for me I love it when you guys ask me art, art questions <laughs> So those are the questions that you asked for the trip. I'm thinking about what other things I can reveal. All I can say is that it's going to be a much longer trip than the previous ones. To give myself some breathing time and some self-exploring -exp by myself without the camera and take more time at each location compared to like rushing from like, oh, I'm in this area, I want to hit this, 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 this point in one day, which was very tiring. Uh, I want to really take more time to observe and maybe more time to be artsy and maybe more time to meet people and get acquainted with people, uh, other travelers, locals, just people. <laughs> I'm not a people person, <laughs> which is probably why I'm saying people over and over. But yeah. There are many more things that I want to reveal to you guys, but that will have to wait. But now that the Japanese 2.0 is officially confirmed, no more maybes, it's it's coming. 100% sure it's coming. Uh, now that it's confirmed, uh, you guys can start getting excited and uh, start sending your suggestions and maybe making your guesses and um, yeah spreading the word and uh, definitely subscribe to this channel definitely follow me on instagram because even though it might be an art instagram mostly i do post a lot of updates on my stories same goes for twitter i want to go back to streaming on twitch uh, which is also something that i might do while i'm in japan is our twitch stream so a lot of exciting things coming your way um I am so excited to show you guys. I'm so excited to, to live them myself, but obviously I'm also very excited to show you guys. This wasn't supposed to be the first video I put out. I have another one that I am editing right now, but it felt weird to not say something after such a long absence. And my voice is shot because I've been talking for almost an hour. Hopefully I've edited this way down. Again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Very grateful for you following me there. And uh, if you want to boost my little artist ego a little bit and uh, kill that imposter syndrome for once and for all, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys now. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comments. A uh, new video is coming soon. You can leave video suggestions that I can do while I'm still here if you guys are interested in anything. So thank you so much for watching guys. I know it's a long one. I know I'm not good with these types of videos. I just talk forever and ever. I hope you can get excited and I'll see you all very soon. Um, or Ima. Bye. Bye. Special thank you to my burger bun and hot cross bun tier patrons. So, Devil Kong, Richard Fujinami, and Kenji Swift. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. You guys are awesome.